Hey guys, we have the team from Be Cool today that came to show us the new integration that they have with Seller M that is going to save us a lot of time when doing our repricing. So I want to thank Alex and everyone at Be Cool for coming. How are you doing, Alex? Hello, Chris. Uh, thank you for having us here. I'm doing good. Today, we're going to share about this new integration that we just did with Seller M. And this is a very new step to the repricing and also the sourcing because now, like, we are the first repricer who integrated with Seller M and all the workflow and everything can be like much more efficient. So today we're going to share more about this and uh, hopefully it's going to be useful for the people who watch this video. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So I'm super excited because I saw um, some sneak peek and I see that there are some stuff that I actually talked about with Samuel last year or some stuff, some features actually that one of my subscribers particularly was asking for. So I'm super excited to see that because we are definitely going to save a ton of time with those new features. Yeah, especially because a lot of people, they always said that if Be Cool has an extension, it's like it will be more convenient to use or if we have the phone app. So all of those things are available now with the help of Seller Amp and we're going to share more about it. And before Chris, like how would you do the repricing and the sourcing? Like what was your workflow before? Yes, so my workflow was actually, I would not say it was complicated, but the new features are definitely going to save me a ton of time because i also if people that are in my mentorship are actually watching this video you guys know exactly my my, my process and i'm going to go uh, over it a little bit so what i would do and what i always say is that my repricing process always starts when i am actually making my purchasing decision right so what i was doing is i was opening the notes on seller amp and typing what i was thinking would be my worst case what i call my worst case minimum price right so if the price was to tank, what would be my minimum price? What I wanted to set as a maximum price and what would be the price at which I would list the item, you know? And so I was taking note of all of that. And then what I was doing is I run my whole business from a Discord server, right? So I have one specific channel where I have reminders and where I set reminders to actually go back to my ASINs every two, three days, five days, depending on the product. So I was pretty much juggling Discord, Seller M, Keepa, and then going back to be cool and you know it was a lot of back and forth you know so uh it's i, I see oh, this is going to definitely help me uh, save a lot of time so here's the outline for today like the agenda so first we're gonna talk about this integration then we're gonna show the main features of this integration then we will go through the setup process then like we will talk about the benefits and possible scenarios and maybe like your favorite feature because this integration i think it's useful so we will also like to know like what is your favorite feature here's the introduction part so here are the main main benefits of this integration so as you can see like now you can add min and max prices all within seller amp for example if you found the product that you want to sell like maybe through the online arbitrage you can directly enter your min and max prices within seller amp also you can choose the repricing rule that you want to use in be cool and we have the browser extension that a lot of people always have been asking for within seller amp so you can have like the basic features like you can add the min and max prices you can add your cost you can choose your fulfillment type also you can choose the condition what is the product condition all within the seller amp and also choose the repricing rule those are the features that you can do in the seller amp extension and later we're going to show you more how you can do it also you can use be cool on the phone app and you can have a faster access to the seller amp through be cool so if you're using this integration in your be cool active listings you will have the seller amp logo and if you click on it it will directly open the seller amp and you can see like uh, all of the statistics, the buy box analytics, the keeper graphs and everything all in the seller amp. And also, as I mentioned, there's going to be graphs, buy box analytics and more uh, in the be cool repricer. So like maybe if you want to change your min prices, maybe you want to change your max prices or the repricing rule, you can access those uh, analytical tools in the seller amp through this integration. So what do you think about this, Chris? Is it going to be useful? So, yeah, it's going to be super useful. So not only, as I said, you know, um, it's going to remove the need, especially for, for me with the workflow that I had to juggle in between, you know, going on Amazon, looking at the keypad and going on, on, on Be Cool. We will not even have to log in on Be Cool if we can actually change our minimum price directly on Amazon from Seller Amp, right? Which is the first thing. The second thing is that, you know, my, my the way I work, my brain is always working. And sometimes, you know, I may be sitting uh, I maybe I maybe see or maybe driving somewhere, and I would think about a specific product, and I would say, oh, I need to look at my repricing for this product because it looks like it has been saying a little bit slowly. So let me check. And what I would do usually, I would log in on my phone on Be Cool, but it was not that easy to use the website mm. directly from your phone, right? So the, definitely the app on my iPhone is going to be super helpful. Will pretty much would be super helpful, definitely. 
Yeah, that's true. And also because sometimes you have the best idea about your min and max prices while you're sourcing. So like if you can add your min and yeah. max prices right away, I think it's going to save a lot of time because you don't need to go back and do it one more time. Next part, we want to share how you can actually set up this integration. And the process is actually very easy. You, you need to go to the listings and then like go to the general settings. And there you can click on the solar amp integration and it will bring you to the solar amp. There you can click on connect. Let me share my screen. So here we are in the Bikul repricer and then like let's click on the active listings. And then here we go to the general uh, settings general and now let's turn it on. And now it brings us to solar amp and here we need to click on connect. And as you can see, uh, connection is updated. As you can see, it's done. And now like we will have this Seller Amp logo here and we can access this integration. And also like in Seller Amp, mm -hmm. like if you open like any products, like let's say like this product and you open Seller Amp, you will have uh, be cool here. And another thing that you can do, because when you first connect your uh, Bikul account to Seller Amp, Bikul account is gonna be at the bottom. And maybe like you want to move it mm -hmm. uh, further like to make the whole process easier so if you want to do it like you can click on settings here drag it from the bottom to the top and also maybe like charts and buy box analytics and keeper uh, you can also move them up because then it's going to be easier for you to decide mm -hmm. and uh, how about you chris like how would you usually set it up so right now oh it's set up my, my i think on my on my ramp I, I like to have not too much information but i think the way mm. i would set it up is I would keep the quick view on top, you know, with the with the image of the product, the product calculation, uh, you know, to help you calculate your cost. Then I would get be cool right under, because definitely, like as I said, you know, my repricing process starts whenever I make my purchasing decision, so it's going to be way easier. Um, you know, I would actually input my cost and all that to be able to see if the product is profitable. If it is, I can already work on be cool. I can already work on the on the repricing immediately there, right? Yeah, right. So as you can see, like anyone can set it like in the way that is more convenient for them. So anyone can make their own setup like they can uh, track it and uh, make it uh, the most uh, efficient for yourself so like because everyone has the different workflow next let's share more about benefits of this integration so here a uh, benefit we can see that we can actually put the product cost additional cost mean and max prices of the product and also we choose a repricing rule and the fulfillment method so this is the first benefit because you can all do it in the Seller Amp. The second benefit is now you can have the access to those analytical tools that are in Seller Amp. So you can have them in Be Cool when you do the repricing. And also like when you do the product sourcing, you can have those uh, graphs to decide your min and max prices. So like you first look at them, like you decide like what, what min and max prices you want to put. And then like you use the Be Cool extension to insert your min and max prices. And also because you can see the Seller AMP uh, buy box analytics. So you can actually choose your repricing rule because maybe you see that there's Amazon on the listing, so you don't want to sell this product. Uh, so it's all kind of um, linked together and you can uh, have like better repricing idea, like how you want to reprice it, what repricing rules to use, like how you want to set your min and max prices, etc. And like in Be Cool panel, you will have the Solar Amp logo. So again, if you want to access the analytical tools from Solar Amp, or you just want to open particular ASIN through the Be Cool, it's very easy. Just click on this Solar Amp logo and it will open up this extension. For you, Chris, like what do you think kind of like the main benefits of this extension? Main benefits of the extension is definitely going to be the time that you're going to save. Right. Mm. Uh, no need. No need to go back to 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 be cool and from be cool to to the Amazon page. And then you know on the Amazon page that way you can like you can really do everything from seller amp. I think what's going to save the most time is being able to have you know on the same page to keep a graph from on the product and then on seller amp being able to 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 edit your price going to save a ton of time. Mm. This is really the main benefit in my opinion. Right. Yeah. So we can also see some of before and after integration. So like as you just mentioned, like before like you would have like a busier workflow, like you would need to have like a lot of back and forth, like you need to go like to seller amp, then you need to go to be cool, keep a... so it was not as efficient as it could be. So like now with this integration it will save you more time. Also, you can have like efficient repricing because you can see like what are the min and max prices you want to set right away, like when you do the sourcing. Whole repricing process is going to be more convenient. And that's why you can also make better repricing decisions. We think it's going to be helpful. And also like because for this um, integration, you don't need to pay any extra. Like if you use Seller Amp and Be Cool, you can access this integration. This is another benefit. Here we actually prepare some of the possible scenarios where you can use this integration. First is when you do the online arbitrage. In Walmart, you found this product, like you want to sell this product. And let's pretend that the price was good. Maybe we had some extra coupons. So we want to sell this product. Then like 
you will open it in seller m you can directly export it to be cool so like what you will do you will click on export new listing and then here you can choose what is your fulfillment type is, is it fba or fbm what is the item condition uh, what is the product cost maybe like we put like we got it like maybe like for two dollars like what is the additional cost maybe it's like one dollars and also because before we can see the graph here so we can decide like what mean price we want to put so we can see it was like around like 579 so it's always around 579 so maybe like we will put uh, maybe like 570 for our mean price for max price maybe we'll put like 670 and uh, also choose the repricing rule that you want to use maybe it's uh, a grow profit if you think this product sells well or maybe like this is AI equalizer and then you just click on export and this item going to show up in BeCool. And in BeCool, where you will be able to see it, it will bring it here. Under listings, you will you will see these seller amp listings. So if you click on here, you would see like those products that you exported okay. from seller amp. And in the future, you also can adjust your uh, mean and max prices. Maybe like in the future, if there's like more people started to sell it or uh, you want to do some other adjustments, you can quickly access it here. This is for the first scenario. For you, Chris, like if you do online arbitrage, how would you use this integration? So yeah, as, as you said, and I wanted to rebound to something that you said a couple of minutes ago, um, definitely like you are gonna be able to make way better decision because the workflow is going to be less busy, right? So I think the whole goal would be to, to make sure the workflow is easier. And so it would be to actually do the repricing and you know, not, not have to juggle in between all those, you know, all those tabs that you will have open. Just focus on actually exporting the price directly whenever you do, do your sourcing. Because I, mostly what I do is mostly online arbitrage. I don't really do mm. some arbitrage, but it's going to be really working. Whenever you find the product, will you make the purchasing decision? Okay, so set up your minimum price, maximum price export it to seller amp so from there uh everything is ready and like you do not need to actually as i was doing it before go in the notes take notes and go in the reminder set a reminder to make sure that i would check that asin in five days seven days ten days to make sure that you know to wait that it checked to make sure that i actually go ahead and um set the price because you know at least everything will be done everything that will need to be done that will be left to be done would be to go on seller amp would be to go on be cool mm. go to the seller amp um to the seller amp tab as you saw as you showed sorry and from there um edit the repricing if it actually needs to be done mm, right so the whole process i think is going to be way more easier more efficient and there's actually another scenario where you can use this integration is if you do a retail arbitrage and here this is how you can do it so let's say like when you go like to the store like so let's say like you went to the like, tj maxx or walmart and then like there you do the product sourcing and then like let's say like you found something that is suitable to sell uh and you want to sell it maybe like either with fbm or fba then like you can actually scan this product using the seller amp and uh, after that you can actually even export this product. So like here, like we found this pair of socks, right? And then like we can check like the keeper graph, like see like like what are the sales for this product, like how the price goes, like is it stable or not? And then like if we decide to purchase this product, maybe like the price is good in the store, we can directly export it to be cool. We can choose our mean and max prices we can choose our repricing rule and maybe like if you do the fbm there's a chance that you can even sell this product before you leave the store like if everything goes mm -hmm. pretty well so yeah this is another possible scenario w where you can use this integration so as we can see yeah it's going to make the process much easier like more efficient and people can have uh, like fa faster workflow so this is Definitely. for the retail every trash and another possible scenario that we think that is going to be pretty useful is when people want to update some information on the go. Maybe like you're not at home, like as you mentioned, like you like to have some ideas like on the way, right? And before like you would need to put some notes like in your notebook or use your phone to change your, your prices, like uh, it'd be cool. But now like you can actually do it on the go using the seller amp uh, mobile app and you can adjust your million max prices you can also like change your pricing rule and the way it's going to work let me share my screen here let's say this is the product that we have and we can open the seller amp and uh, here because we already linked this product to seller amp so here we can click on update so once you click on update here you can change your min and max prices before your min price was 1436 but maybe like you want to decrease it maybe you want to sell it faster so you will just change it here maybe like also for your max price you want to change it to 15 dollars and you want to to put to more aggressive rule before it was AI boost profit but now maybe you want to use AI sales booster and then you just click on export and it will apply those settings to be cool 
So like it's very easy, and this this way you can actually reprice anywhere, and it's gonna again sell you more time because you don't need to uh, keep keep in mind that you want to change the product. Then like you go back home, then use desktop. So now you can do it on the phone. Yeah, so it's way less friction, makes it way easier. And as you said, uh, all this is going to help you make better decisions because the less friction you have, the best decision you can be, and also the speed at which you're gonna be able to to execute those IDs that you have, those specific repricing IDs. There's not that buffer on, so definitely you're going to be able to be able, I think the main thing is that you're going to be able to make way better decisions, way faster, and you are in business on Amazon, you know, you know that speed is something that is really important because if you, uh, you know, it could be the difference in between a product that is going to tank or, you know, a product that, because if you wait too long to do your repricing, price may start tanking. You may not be able to exceed it as fast as possible when you notice some stuff. You do a lot of things. So speed is definitely one of the most important thing. And this integration is going to help a lot with this. Yeah, right. What is your favorite feature, Chris? Like, because you heard a lot about this integration. So for you personally, mm -hmm. like, how would you use this integration? And what is your favorite feature? I would say my favorite feature is it's not really the future, but it's like my, my favorite benefit, I would say, is that I will not have to go from one tab to another, then back to another, and, you know, go on Discord, set my reminder, do all that. I can just do everything from the from the listing on Amazon because I do all my work, not necessarily on, on, on my phone, but like when I'm on my computer, I can do everything from the same page and export my, my repricing to be cool and have everything set up instead of going from one tab to another. And as, you, as I said, you know, the more complexity you add to a process, the more potential mistake can be made. This is, I think, what I prefer. And as I said, you know, the, the fact that you can also work on it from your phone is going to help a lot as well. Mm, right, right, right. So yeah, those are all of the features. And do you have like any more questions about this integration, about like Solar Amp part, um, the cool part? I think everything was super clear. Thank you for this, by the way. I'm actually super happy that those and i know that a lot of people in my community are going to be super happy from of those features because as i said i remember when i had the first call with you guys i think it was more than a year ago with samuel uh, i remember that you know we had some questions from my community and some questions were asking for features like this so i know that a mm. lot of people in my community are going to be super happy with that so uh, i'm super happy that you guys actually worked on those things and this integration with with, with M. so big thank you to the guys at M as well because i, I know that it it made it way easier for you guys to actually bring those features to us thanks to them as well so uh, yeah i'm super excited to try it out and uh it's definitely I i'm looking forward to the time that it's going to save me when actually doing my repricing yeah thank you chris and thank you to your community for providing the feedback because we always try to improve our software to make the whole process easier for the sellers so we always appreciate the feedback and as you can see we always listen to our users to people who's using be cool and we try to make uh, yeah the whole process just easier and more efficient so people can enjoy our software and also seller amp yeah if you guys have any other questions uh, you always can reach out to be cool support and also like to seller amp support if you have like any questions related to seller amp to the product sourcing so yeah be free to ask and uh, thank you so much chris for inviting us to your channel i hope it was useful for the audience and yeah i hope they can enjoy this uh, integration no thank you so much alex for coming uh, thank you so much for coming and taking the time to explain uh, all this to us and just wanted to tell you guys uh, we know i really appreciate you guys for always coming and helping the community with this content because you're I think the only repricing software that actually does that, right? So thank you so much for that. And thank you for coming today uh, to show us all these new features. All right, yeah. Thank you, Grayson. I'll see you next time then. See you next time.